Think about what we did in Daytona, we did something special, something that's never been done before in our history, but it really started over 50 years ago. Big Bill France had the vision to build the Daytona International Speedway and move racing from the beaches to the high banks. So with that, we actually walked in his footsteps and reimagined this American icon, the Daytona International Speedway, and took a fantastic racetrack and turned it into the world's first and only motorsports stadium. We created our own brand, our own logo, and we entitled the project Daytona Rising. It took us two and a half years from start to finish to rebuild the Daytona International Speedway. And if you're gonna go down that path, you need partners you can trust who understand schedule, budget, timeline, installation, and really the attention to detail. And we visited Joan Sign Company a couple times up in Green Bay to review kind of the creative, the process, and really our big marquee sign. And really from day one, we felt comfortable, experienced professionals, knew what was going on, more importantly, the confidence to help us understand what we needed for our project. It was a very collaborative effort. And at the end of the day, when you can have a project this large that finishes on time and on budget, and you actually constructed it while you were still operating it, especially the Daytona 500, that's the partner that we're most proud of, that we can get that done the right way. When you think about it, you build this brand new stadium. It's over nine-tenths of a mile long. We had to plan for the curvature of the earth over that distance, which is seven inches. Well, one of the key elements is making sure our fans get to the right location, whether it's seats, concessions, restrooms, you name it. And so when Joan Sign Company came in, it was about making sure our fans knew where to go. The thing that we really learned with this new experience for our fans is that they meandered around and they explored all the areas that we had. It was so new, it was so unique, they'd never seen anything like this. So you'd see fans just walking and exploring and checking it out, peeking around corners, sitting over here, taking a break. And again, when you have four concourses and they're nine tenths of a mile long, there's a lot of distance, but it was so innovative, there was so much great technology, and we had great directional signage, you always knew where you were going, and I think it really gave them the comfort to explore every part of the project. For me, from day one, I talked about the aha moment. The moment that actually makes you pull over and take a selfie with the Daytona International Speedway behind you. So we actually built what I would call a scenic overlook for fans to actually pull over and take that photo, and you have that fantastic marquee sign. Over 300 feet long, letters that are over 13 foot tall, backlit with over 3600 LED lights. It is truly the marquee statement and you know where you are. You're at the world center of racing when you drive by the Daytona International Speedway. And that sign, I think, was just phenomenal. And that was just Jones Sign Company at their best, understanding what we wanted and creating that sign that really calls out to the world, you now have arrived when you come to Daytona. We sell memories, memories of great experiences that either have sporting, family, you name it, and I have to tell you, Jones Sign Company understood that. It wasn't just about building signs and installing them at a sports venue. It was about a brand that people appreciate, that's very special to them, and Jones Sign Company understood that from day one. We think we found a great partner in Jones Sign Company. They understood the pressure, the big and bold nature of our project, but more importantly, this is the biggest brand in motorsports. I think they were up for the challenge, and based on what I see out there in terms of the results, uh, they finished first with that checkered flag for us. Mm -hmm.